this is the right side, the far right of the panorama, um, and this is this is Curiosity looking t towards Mount Sharp from Gale Crater, and and to the extreme right, you'll actually see this structure here, which appears to me to be some kind of um, transport system, and I think it it goes right the way through Mount Sharp, and it terminates here. Because this is this is um, another transport hub, probably um, flights or um, ferries across Gale Crater when it was a huge lake. Um, these are amazing images. You really need to check this panorama. The link will be in the description. Let me take you around to, to just a few interesting things that you'll see. Um, as we come round a little bit to the left you'll see this structure here now that looks to me to be actually the roof of a building um, a terminal building you can see there's a head of an animal there and it appears to have an S on its nose um, if I just zoom in a little bit you can see it the figure of an S there um, and there is a bird on top of the animal. Um, whether that suggests flight or just, just travel in general, I don't know. Um, but it's an amazing image. See it? Huge. And I suspect the main part of the building is under the, the sand there. I'm going to move around again now. There's some amazing stuff here. Now, just check there. You'll see, I don't have to zoom in too much. You'll see there some steps going up the slope there. And you'll see steps also going right the way up the hill there. To what can you see in the distance? Ruins. They're not ruins, they are intact buildings because they are all perpendicular. They're straight up and they are intact. I think we're looking there at the outskirts of a, a city perhaps. Here in the foreground, um, we have. Uh, ancient type building, uh, vehicles, sorry, um, in the background there. Now can you see how this is all unnatural? It's been formed, it's been built. Um, this is a vehicle look. And it seems to have some sort of, sort of a wing on the side. Whether that's to do with, with flight, I don't know. Um, if I zoom in a little bit, you get some more detail there. This actually shows... You see the steps going up to the wing of the vehicle there? For access? And if you look beyond that, you'll see some more steps there leading up either to the other wing or to a vehicle uh, behind it. And those buildings in the background, I, I suspect, are buildings and they're all intact. Um, and on the slopes, as you move round, which I first thought were actually ruins, they're not. It's lots of artifacts. There's pipe work and um, maybe even vehicles that have been blown up onto the hilltop there. But here, let me just zoom in a little bit, be patient with me. It's difficult working with a panorama. Uh, if I just zoom in, can you see? They're what appear to be angers in the side of the hill. Hangers or bunkers or garages even.
and this here appears to be looks like um, an aircraft but um, it may be a boat some kind um, but it also has an S on the side which suggests to me that the city of S um, the transport here was intercity because you wouldn't need to put S on everything would you if it was just staying in that particular city so my guess is this and other stuff uh, or the transport sorry in this area was to take people to other parts of um, Gale Crater um, and that this terminal here was where they got off and connected to the transport that would take them across Gale Crater. This, I, I, my guess is, goes straight the way through Mount Sharp. And I wouldn't be surprised if Mount Sharp is actually completely hollow and we've got a huge metropolis in there. It really takes some taking in this picture. Um, and it was this photograph was taken, well these these forty-eight photographs that they put together for this panorama were taken in September. So NASA have known all about this, which is why probably they've, they've been ignoring all our comments about um, the little things that we've found. <laughs> they've got something really big up their sleeves and it's strange that the part of um, Yellowknife Bay that the that Curiosity has been um, having its downtime at and where they're going to be doing a lot of work further exploration they've actually um, called it Grandma's House Isn't that amazing? But I do suggest you go um, to the NASA website and have a look at the, um, the latest panorama and you want to look at the white balanced version, the zoom in version. So, thumbs up to NASA, he knew all about this. I've known some time. I'll put the link in the description. There you go. What a view. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was difficult for me going around the panorama and talking as well because it's, it's not easy to control. Um, but I think you see the outskirts of the city there. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, subscribe if you don't already. And I'll see you soon. Thank you.